Hi everyone, it is Connie here and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Um, in this video, I am going to be sharing with you guys how I think I got pregnant. If you guys know anything about my uh, journey to pregnancy, um, or if you've watched the last couple of videos, you will know that I got pregnant through uh, doing an IUI, which is an intrauterine insemination. Um, and basically it's, it's assisted fertility where the doctor uh, takes the husband's a sperm and basically injects it far past the cervix and closer to, like into the uterus and closer to the fallopian tubes where the egg is you know, waiting to be fertilized by a sperm. So obviously the first thing is the IUI, which I already mentioned. Um, the second thing is more, I guess, psychological and emotional. Um, I really learned to put my pride and fear aside. Um, and the reason why I mentioned that is because I was so, when I first started my journey, two years ago, I was really um, against getting fertility treatment and I really had this pride about asking for help. Like, you know what, you know, everyone, all these other people are able to get pregnant, you know, why can't we, you know? And I had this thing where I was like holding on to this idea of really just wanting to get pregnant naturally and not having to get any fertility assistance or see a fertility doctor or take any medications or whatever and, it, and the whole thing just kind of scared me and also I didn't want to do it because I just wanted so badly to get pregnant naturally and I truly feel like by putting those fears and pride aside and opening myself up to the possibility you know of you know, receiving help, I think that contributed a lot to how I got pregnant. So that's number two. Number three is, I have five things. It's not going to be very long, don't worry. <laughs> um, number three is um, being proactive. So when I decided to finally start, you know, seeing a fertility doctor and more specifically when I decided, you know, we should try doing an IUI. Sorry, my hair is bothering me. Okay, when I tried to, you know, um, when we decided to do the IUI, it was really easy for me to just kind of put everything in the hands of the doctors and the nurses and just to trust them and to just kind of sit back and not do anything. And I actually mentioned this in my IUI success story video. Um, I kind of talked about that a little bit. So if you haven't had a chance to watch that, I will link it down below. But, um, I, by being proactive, and I wasn't going to be, I was just really just going to kind of go with the flow and do whatever my doctor said, but where I was proactive was where it was when I was started to, when the thought occurred to me to take um, my ovulation predictor tests, you know, while I was doing the IUI cycle. I wasn't going to, and I did it last minute. So I, I took the ovulation test, and um, during the IUI cycle and I believe, truly believe that that made a huge difference because if I didn't take the ovulation test and, and I didn't see that I had ha got a peak, then we would have done the IUI a day later and I feel like the timing would have been off and it probably wouldn't have worked. So that's my third tip is to be proactive always no matter what, whether it's taking your ovulation test, whether it's exercising, um, and eating right and really just doing a lot of research on whatever it is you feel like you need to research. Just be proactive and, and you know, constantly ask questions and stuff like that. Um, number four, and this is something that I didn't really talk about in my um, other videos only because I really forgot to, to mention these, um, but I, I do feel like they contributed. I In the month of March of this year, a month before I did my IUI, I started doing um, chiropractic adjustments and um, and mainly it was because I just had like neck and back problems lower back problems so I just couldn't stand it anymore and then as I was doing the chiropractic and researching about chiropractic and infertility I saw that um, like if your pelvis is like out of line that can make your uterus like kind of like offline and stuff like that or out of line 
um, out of alignment and that could affect fertility and there, I don't know much about that and I don't know if it's really true or not but I remember reading an article on that um, and I just felt so much better I, I truly felt like my body was like releasing tension and I think that really helps because if your body's like really tight and you know your muscles are like your um, spine is out of alignment and that causes your muscles to kind of you know um, be tense and tight and do things that it's not supposed to do then uh, you know it's not good for your body in general um, so that could affect a f fertility and the other thing I started doing um, the, uh, the month before I did my IUI was I started taking these really strong Korean liquid herbal supplements and this was at the uh, advice and um, suggestion from a friend and the herbals were uh, specifically for reproductive the reproductive system the uterus um, getting that area really warm and getting it really healthy and strong and cleansing it um, so I did that for about three weeks and they <laughs> the Korean liquid herbals taste terrible super bitter and a lot of times I'd have to chase it with a sip of orange juice or apple juice or something um, but I took three packets uh, like a day or something like that for three straight weeks and I f truly feel like it toned up that area um, so yeah that's something that I did um, right before doing the IUI and I don't think I ever mentioned that so uh, those might have helped um, I can't completely give credit to those uh, things that I did, but I think it helped, you know? Um, and finally, finally, and this is, it's the last but not least, you know, of importance, it's probably the most important thing, was prayer and surrender is what helped me get pregnant in my personal belief is, you know, um, being a Christian and everything, I prayed a lot to God about having a baby, you know, and I realized when I started my journey two years ago, um, my prayer was so different. Like my prayer was, God, I want a baby. Give me a baby. I want a baby so bad. You know, I want to be a mom and I want to love my child unconditionally. And I want to, you know, experience that with my husband and have him be, you know, a dad. And I want a baby. Will you give me a baby? You know, and at the end of the two years, my prayer changed. My prayer changed to, um, God, would you just give me peace? Would you just give me your joy, your peace, no matter what the outcome is, whether I have a baby or not? All I ask for is that you would strengthen me so that I could go through life, living it, feeling joyful, having peace, and feeling like blessed you know and you know and I already know how blessed I am you know but once I prayed that prayer it led me to a complete surrender you know of the whole conceiving thing and it was a complete surrender of my life you know to God and and that gave me peace and I was able to really just you know be happy for other people whereas I couldn't be for like the first year and a half of starting this journey I couldn't really be happy for other people and then that would make me feel guilty and I would feel so horrible as a person you know and it wasn't because I wasn't happy for the other person it was because I was struggling so much and I was you know constantly wondering you know when's it gonna happen for us you know um, so it was really hard and, and any woman out there who is going through infertility, I get it. I totally get it. Whether you've been trying for two years or five years or seven years, it's hard when you want something so bad and it's not happening and you're, you have so many doubts and you wonder if it'll ever happen, you know? But uh, for me, that prayer, that change in prayer just totally changed everything and I remember, you know, really being able to just love on you know babies that weren't mine you know um, babies that belong to close friends and family and stuff like that and I could just love on them and just be joyful for their parents and the mom and everything and I got to such a place of peace and once I did I truly feel like that's when I got pregnant so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you found it inspiring or helpful in any way, uh, please give it a thumbs up and leave any questions or comments you have in the 
in the comments below. And um, yeah, thanks for listening to this video, and I will catch you in the next, the next one. Bye.